So this will be <coughs> turned into uh, ring frames. I'm going to be gone two days for work, at least two days, maybe three days. So I figured I'll get these laminated it's now Sunday night. And I figured I'll get these laminated. And that way they're nice and hard when I get back from my business trip. And I can install these hopefully on Wednesday night. I installed the uh, stern, uh, did two, two tries with the stern, installed the stern on Saturday, yesterday was Saturday. So it is, so the boat is coming along. Uh, I'm also printing the new version of Australia too, which I actually in, really enjoy. A building because it's a boat I've had, had a lot of. I was 15 years old in Australia 2 1, and I won a regatta mini 12 before they called them uh, before they called them 2.4 meters. I won a regatta in Stockholm in the mini 12, they called it. So that was all the same year. There's no Swedish word for it, and now I forgot the English word, so that's bad. <laughs> Put music on instead of me talking gibberish here. Okay. Peel ply. It's called peel ply. So this will be the underside. And as you can see, this absorbs some of the <laughs> this is this is probably not how you do it. But absorbs some some of the, the extra the epoxy to make it lighter probably a little bit stronger too so there we go so now I have the first side and now I'm gonna without messing this up Turn this over. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So as you can see I'm putting one layer of carbon on each side. I hope that will be enough. <clears throat> there will be additional carbon when you laminate it into the hull. So, so you get a little bit free there. This ain't Koenigsegg carbon work that's for sure but it's Lars Lindquist carbon work and it's gonna have to do for me <clears throat> probably won't use this but the additional the extra pieces that that I can always find use for I can do other little things with
we're gonna put another layer of peel ply. So I glued in the stern and it's got a divinus cell, only one layer of carbon, but turned out very nice and strong. Uh, prototypes for uh, the kill timbers, it's probably a better word for it, it's not made out of timber, but uh, I'm printing these again a little bit heavier and uh, they will be laminated in and that usually looks like crap to be honest with you but uh, I will try to do this will be filled I will make sure the keel is on straight of course and then these will be laminated in not these ones but the ones I'm printing so I've created these sheets and I'm gonna use templates then I have 3D printed and I will cut out ring frames from these sheets and as you can see this one fits this one fits inside or even this one fits inside so I will have a total of one two three four ring frames in the boat So I'm fitting the uh, ring frames in the hull and I have um, put a little bit of tape just to make it less messy when I glue this in. It's probably going to be messy anyway knowing me but and these will hardly ever be seen so but it feels a little better not to have it so messy in the boat. So this is a report. It's Sunday night and we have tomorrow off, so that feels good. This is uh, Kookaburra 4, so four ring frames installed and, and uh, the stern installed. I'm quite pleased with this new design of the ring frames where I use one layer of carbon and Divinacell core and one layer of carbon turned out very strong and extremely light I'm also doing a short build and I will now show you my short build restoration project so this is my uh, restoration project so I got number 33 and I thought it was a little bit lighter than my other one so since I'm a freak with these things I have made uh, I removed the rudder the rudder was really really bad on this one I mean it was no no uh, bearing surfaces at all it was just flopping all over the place and I have added my 3d printed uh, keel supports and a mass support and the horizontal bar is f to prevent uh, the sh uh, jib sheet from tangling up so I sanded this one, excuse my messy shop, sanded this one and uh, I have spray painted it white with Hagman's uh, white paint. Uh, I've had uh, great success with that in the past and I will build up some more layers and then wet sand it with 600 and remove <coughs> a few runs and then I will polish it and it will actually look like a sheet of glass. I did spend almost six hours sanding and 
and uh, straightening the hull out since I went through all the hassle of, of uh, removing bottom paint and and you can see the the back end of the uh, deck and uh, hopefully uh, I will continue with the radio board and uh, winch installation tomorrow but this should not be uh, so many weeks away from sailing I hope but it all depends <laughs> I want to thank everyone for subscribing and all your nice comments and I just uh, I think it's unbelievable that we are 717 subscribers so thank you very much for that and thanks for watching my videos I'm not a professional as you know and I'm, I'm, I work a full-time job on top so I'm doing the best I can keeping you guys updated with all the crazy stuff I'm doing so thank you very much and I hope to see you soon or talk to you soon thanks bye